Good morning, year two. Happy Monday. Welcome to a brand new week. Remember how it works today. You have me doing the videos and then from tomorrow you'll have Miss Druce. Okay, so we are carrying on <coughs> Excuse me. with Flat Stanley and on Mondays, rather than looking at retrieval, we look at vocabulary. But before we get into all that, we are going to begin with a starter. So you have here a list of words and a list of suffixes. So those are the letters that go at the end of words. Um, you've got a range of options. Each word, I want you to go through and work out which words go with which. So for enjoy, is enjoyment a real word? Is enjoyness a real word? Is enjoyful a real word? Enjoy less and enjoy leap. And then for care, is carement a real word? Is careness a real word? Careful, careless, carely, happyment, happiness, happy full, happiness, happily, happily. So lots of different ones to have a go at. Pause the video, have a go. Okay. Now that you've seen me have a little drink, let's go. So enjoyment is a word, but none of the others are. For care, Careful is a word, and careless is a word. For happy, happiness, and happily. For nice, niceness, and nicely. For sad, we've got sadness, and sadly. For excite, you have excitement and for hope you have hopeful and hopeless okay so you can kind of see here there is a pattern the words if it has full it can probably have less if it has ness it can have lee and if it's got meant it's probably the only suffix it can have they all follow that same pattern right let's move on so, like I said, we're doing vocabulary. You need to remember those steps. You look at the word, we're trying to find out what it means. So you, you underline it, you find it in the text, you read around it, and then you write your answer. Think about whether you've heard the word before, okay? So this is our section for today. Let's have a read. Mr. Dart stood back a few feet and stared at him for a moment. So if you remember, they're in the museum and they're setting a trap for the thieves and he's put Stanley on a picture frame where he's being held up by some spikes. So he's looking at it. Well, he said, it may not be art, but I know what I like. He went off to make sure that certain other parts of Stanley's plan were taken care of and Stanley was left alone. It was very dark in the main hall. A little bit of moonlight came through the windows and Stanley could just make out the world's most expensive painting on the opposite wall. He felt as though the bearded man with the violin and the lady on the couch and the half horse person and the winged children were all waiting as he was for something to happen. Time passed and he got tireder and tireder. Anyone would be tired this late at night, especially if he had to stand in a picture frame balancing on little spikes. Maybe they won't come, Stanley thought. Maybe the sneak thieves won't come at all. The moon went behind a cloud and then the main hall was pitch dark. It seemed to get quieter too with the darkness. There was absolutely no sound at all. Stanley felt the hair on the back of his neck prickle beneath the golden curls of the wig. Creak. The creaking sound came from right out in the middle of the main hall. And even as he heard it, Stanley saw in the same place, a tiny yellow glow of light. And that's the end of our section. Because we'll have to find out in a couple of days what that light is from, what's going on. Okay, so you know how these lessons work. We're gonna start with just a few quick fire questions. Where did Mr. Dark go? Where did he go? Where was the only light coming from when it went dark? 
And then what noise does the door make? Three questions, off you go. <clears throat> okay, so where did Mr. Dark go? <clears throat> he went to go see if Stanley's plan, all the other parts were in place. Okay, so he went off to check on Stanley's plan. Where was the only light coming from? The moon, moonlight. Moonlight was the only uh, source of light Stanley had. And then what noise does the door make? You probably remember my very weird impression. Creak. Yeah, makes a creaking noise. Okay, so vocabulary. Um, it's all about matching the words and figuring out what they mean. So you can look at this to help you, but on uh, Teams, if you have access to Teams, you will have this sheet where you're telling me what it means and putting it into a sentence for me. Okay, so though either you're doing this if you can't access Teams or this still if you can't access Teams and you want to do it this way, or if you have Teams, this is your assignment for today. Find those words in the section and um, work out what they mean and put them into your own sentence. Not copying the sentence from the book, but your own sentence. All right. Thank you, everyone. See you later.